Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Mart. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I just ran back to my car to get this spoon. All right, listen, I'm going to open this up. I saw that we have a nest in here. Um, I kind of had a foreshadowing. Now, this is E9 nest box. I only have two more to... Well, this one, I was going to bleach out this one and then E8. Um, and looking underneath, I was just clearing out some debris and stuff. And, and I thought, is this box wet underneath? Now, I know, I know you guys are going to laugh at this, but it seems like when the southern flying squirrels live in the boxes, it seems like they urinate a lot. I'm not kidding. Because whenever I take out a nest, the bottom of the box is always pretty wet. But, I was just thinking, you won't believe this. I had a fact sheet about southern flying squirrels. This morning I was going to read at breakfast, and I didn't. I didn't get to bring it with me. Okay, here we go. Now, the reason I had to run back to my car is because when they get scared, they're going to run up. Now, I'm going to show you. This is a telephone pole. We're at lot eight. And this became a beach parking area um, in 2020. But it used to be no parking. Well, except for they have the Heritage Golf Classic, uh, different names. But basically a PGA tournament that's been here since like 1969. And... It got canceled last year because of the pandemic. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to slowly open this, but the sun to my eyes, just so you know, I can't see what the heck I'm doing. And a flying squirrel may run out. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Okay, all right, let's get out of the sun. Okay, wow. Okay, well, oh my God, let me look. Okay, I'm, tr I'm going to try to zoom in. Can you see anything in the No, he must be out to lunch or dinner. Huh. It's about 4.30. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. You guys, here's a fun fact. You see what I'm saying? How how dark this is? <sighs> I, I hate to say this, but this box is always overrun with cockroaches. It's just awful. I bleach out the box and, you know, and then I'm telling you, midsummer onward, it's just, I dread opening this box. It has the, usually the most cockroaches. So, I'm excited to see a nest. Now, this nest is not even that high. I'm gonna say, it looks like one, two, two and a half to four inches on the right. Um, usually they're a lot uh, taller. Like the, these animals are, um, okay, I'm gonna shut this. So it's a mammal, southern flying squirrel. They will use up usually three quarters of this box, fill it up. Now, it could have been in here, um, the animal could have been in here all winter, it's possible, and I'm looking, oh, and if you guys listen, just help yourselves, um, gosh, I don't have my glasses on, but way up here, you guys should look up, just look up southern, not even southern, you can just put in flying squirrel, Karen Martz, Sea Pines Bluebird Project, S-E-A, separate word, pine, so it's Sea Pines Bluebird Project, but put in Flying Squirrel or Southern Flying Squirrel, Karen Martz, press video, and you guys will see some amazing animals. Because they have a really cool tail that feathers out. It looks like a giant feather, real soft. And they have a little bit of yellow under their belly. I mean, just gorgeous. So, okay. All right, well, I'm excited. We're signing off live. Woo! I know we don't have an animal, but in case you've never seen a flying squirrel before, they're nocturnal and, and they're really hip. And I have seen them at a couple of nature places, one being at, um, oh, Oatland Island Wildlife Center. But, you know, they had to do like an infrared type of thing um, so you could look at the animals. All right, have a great day.